how you suck the tea. Uh, Talking shade? No, that's yes. Right, come on, we're gonna get the tilapia. Tilapia is 364 for three of them. Salmon is about 967. 809. This is 809, but this will get you one, two. I can make four. I can make four dinners out of this. Oh no. I can, this is 1059. This will get you. Five. Okay. Five then. So. Let's get these, babe. These ones are more buttery than the Idaho potatoes. So, you want to make your mashed potatoes a little... But you're not eating that much mashed potatoes, right? Mm-mm. So, it's three dinners with mashed potatoes, and then we're going to do two with the rice. So, you can eat the rice with the salmon, and then the, um, the tilapia with the, with the potatoes. Right? Yes. First name JC on, last name Ditto. JC on Ditto, and I'm back at it again with another video. All right, so boom. So today we're gonna be meal prepping. All right. So, this looks like a crop top because, <laughs> do not judge me. I um, accidentally bought the wrong size tank top. So, yeah. Anyways. I'm gonna teach you guys if you haven't noticed I moved to a new apartment I think you guys should already know that um but I moved a little bit before um it was time for me to get my top surgery because I wanted to save some money so my kitchen might look a little different than you know my old one um but yeah I'm making a video to show you guys quick easy money saving way to meal prep and we lose weight and gain weight so um every monday tuesday monday or tuesday or sometimes thursday my um girlfriend goes she um well she actually gives me the money i cook she pays for it basically put it that way um so i cook the food and she pays for the food uh because i know how to meal prep i know how to cook and since i'm a personal trainer she just leaves everything in my hands um so i'm gonna show you guys the groceries for someone trying to lose weight and also the groceries for someone trying to gain weight as y'all know i'm gaining i'm you know putting back my weight that i lost as you can see my body looks a little different than you, know, you could you could see some of it through my shirt um not all of my abs i'm not back to where i used to be yet but it seems like i'm getting better like i'm learning a little bit more about my body because you know i had that little time off so yeah um we're gonna get into it i'm gonna give you guys the list i'm gonna write it in the description and then i'll give you the prices of how much i paid for it spent less than 40 50 bucks for two people for four days four to five days worth of food um i'm gonna cook for both of us because it saves time and saves money um meal prepping is very easy as long as you have your containers so i usually buy cheap containers from supermarket I get these uh, regular black small, um, I think, let me see if they put the, they don't really put the size on here, but it's most likely what everybody gets anyways. It's a two size, you have this and you have that. I usually put my rice or whatever my carbs, starch, whatever it is on half of this. And then the other half will be my protein. So, and then your um, healthy fats or whatever else. So, think of it this way. 
rice, sweet um, potatoes, mashed potato, um, quinoa, uh, whatever, okay? Then on the other half, you have your actual protein, your meat, your fish, if you're um, pescatarian or you just don't eat meat. So whether your ground beef, your chicken, your um, tilapia, your salmon, whatever, it goes on the other half. Then you have your veggies. Sweet potato, broccoli, um, green beans, asparagus, whatever, goes on the other side. And you always don't want to fill it up to the top if you're trying to lose weight. Think of it because most people don't like to count macros, which macros mean count the calories, you know, however many you put a scale, you have everything scaled up, how, how much rice, how much this. This is mostly for people. People who are bodybuilding and doing competitions, go ahead, that's for them, you know. I don't get in that road, you know, road because I'm not bodybuilding. I'm just working out, trying to look good. That's it. So I don't overthink the macros and whatnot. So just stick to the basics. Always think palm size or hand size. Always think palm size. Put it on the plate if you're thinking palm size. And what I do is, like I said, you have two lines here. If you're trying to lose weight, let me show you. If you're trying to lose weight, you can always stop right here of your line, okay? You're trying to gain, fill it up all the way to the top. Just think of it that way, fill it all the way up. Put as much as you can, and that will be your one meal. And you do it the same way. Gaining weight and losing weight is the same food. Just stay in a calor caloric deficit and just eat less. But you still eat a certain amount of food. You can't eat just two meals a day and think you're going to lose weight. That's not how it works. Or saying, oh, I have a fast metabolism for people who are trying to gain weight. You're eating trash. You're not eating actual food, actual protein, actual carbs, actual healthy fats, avocado, peanut butter, all of that. You know, there's a list of things that, you know, whatever. But I'm going to show you the basics of what I do just to stick to what I do that works for me to make me gain weight. Because yeah, as y'all can see in my previous two weeks videos, I was this big. I had lost like 10 to 12 pounds during my recovery because I wasn't working out because I have a fast metabolism. I used to be about 110 pounds. So I lose weight very fast and I gain it as fast if I stick to a regimen, all right? And I'm not even fully back. I can't work out my chest yet, which is why my chest is a little flat. It's still there, but it's, you know, flat. Um, yeah. And then I haven't been able to work out my back, pull-ups, push-ups, whatever. But that's not what this is about. This is about cooking, so I'm about to get right into it. So you have your chicken. Now I had extra chicken left from before, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, so we got the chicken, we have the um, tilapia, and we have the salmon. That's the protein that I will be making for her. We have the salads, which will be going for lunch. These are the toppings that will go on top of the salad. No tomatoes this time. It will be small baby tomatoes, actually, that I already had in the fridge from before. Then you have your veggies, your corn, your beans, your, your peas, all of that together. Then also the potatoes. Remember, I showed y'all in the video, get the yellow potatoes because they're more buttery. When it comes to your, that noise y'all hear is the water. When it comes to your um, mashed potatoes, I will show you guys how to make that. Then the eggs, I'm gonna boil eggs to put on top of the salads to go as a part of the protein. You have your rice, I'm making a big pot of rice for the both of us. And then, this part will be for me, my pasta, my beef, lean percent. You always want, whenever you order or buy food or meat, always check the date. Make sure it's further back because you'll be eating this for a few days. And then I got my sweet potato. And that's about it. I'm going to show you guys how much all of this costs, less than $50, for two people to eat for four days straight. So for starters, I like to cook all my starch, my carbs first. So first thing I'm going to do is take care of the rice. Wash the rice, make sure the water runs completely through and it's white and not, you know, cloudy. Make sure your, your rice is washed properly. After that, peel all my potatoes, my white potatoes first, completely chop them up into pieces and the sizes that I want them to be because all is going to end up happening, they're going to be mashed, so it's not a big deal. After that, make sure to do the same thing with the yams, the sweet potatoes, however you want to call it. Once that's done, you cut them up also in small pieces that you can eat because those will be eaten right away and not mashed. 
Now, as you can see, I have everything on the stove, my potatoes, my yams, my rice, and then that will be the water for my pasta. So all my starch, all my carbs, everything will be done first. While I do that, I will take care of everything else. That way you're not backed up or you don't have anything laying around. Next thing, all my veggies will be chopped up. My bell peppers, white, red, including my onions as well. So now I'm waiting for the potatoes to be done. Rice is all done. I already checked it, taste tested. It's all good. I started laying out my bowls and my, well, my prep um stuff, as you can see. And then now I have here my potatoes, sweet potatoes I already took out, and my pasta noodles I already took out. So the next thing you're gonna take care of after you take out your potatoes, your white potatoes, you wanna make sure you do this while it's hot. Don't let it cool off. Add your salt and pepper, your desired amount of salt and pepper you want to add. As you can see in the video, I'm adding as much as I want to. Um, doesn't matter how much you add. Make sure you add some butter to it as well. Do not look at my fingernails. I have terrible fingernails. Then you wanna add milk. Now with the milk, after you mash it up, you wanna add the amount that you feel is sufficient to make your um, mashed potatoes creamy enough. So you wanna keep adding, and you can get this little tool from any like deli or any um, 99 cent store, any kitchen store, whatever. Um, you should be able to find this too. It's for mashed potatoes. So you just mash it up until you feel like you have the consistency you want. And you just keep adding milk as you go. Now once all of your other stuff are done, your carbs are going out, you know, my rice is still right here. I'm gonna boil the eggs needed for the um, salad. And then my um, veggies are here. It's good to get it frozen because you can just do what you gotta do right away. Now this pot here is gonna be for my cut up, um, my cut up things for me to saute. All right, you have um, three bell peppers, uh, yellow, red, and green, and you have um, white onions. You're just gonna pour that whole thing. You can whether it, stir it first with oil and then add water, but you're gonna want to turn it into a sauce to put on top of your fish. Um, you're also going to need a bouillon of whether meat, um, beef, or chicken. It's up to you. you. Pick one. I like how the beef tastes. Um, my girlfriend likes the chicken, so sometimes I go with chicken. Whatever. You can do whatever, and I'll show you guys right now. All right, as you can see, I've added everything to it. So now you're just gonna let it simmer and boil and reduce all the way down until it turns into like a paste or a sauce. Just let it keep cooking on its own. Next thing we're gonna do is seasoning. I have all the seasoning right there, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. I like to have my seasoning to the side and also um, pink salt. Also add adobo and sasson. just a now this part is a little bit important for people who don't know how to cook um, fish or uh, uh, salmon um, or anything that's fish related on a pan. <clears throat> Sorry, on a pan. Um, butter. And then while I wait for that to do what it does, this is my ground beef. You do not need oil for your ground beef. Now this pan unfortunately tends to stick, but even if I add oil, whatever. Do not add oil to your um, ground beef. It will produce its own oil. Just add your seasoning and you're good to go. Now when this finishes its thing, we're gonna add the fish. You wanna keep it at a medium level heat, not too high, because you just want it to cook slow. Yeah. All right, so once the salmon is on the stove, you just let it cook for on one side for four to five minutes and then you do the same thing on the other side. Now, I added a little bit of water to my beef because I just like my beef to be juicy instead of dry and just oily, just so that when I eat it with my food, it's not just oil in it. Now, this is your salmon on the other side. You're gonna cover it up and just let it do what it does.
rice. All right, guys, and there you have it. This is your meal. You have your tilapia and your potatoes and your veggies, your salmon, your rice and your veggies. She doesn't mind repeating. I don't think anyone who's meal prepping should mind repeating because it saves you money and it keeps you healthy. It shouldn't be a problem. Make sure that you stay at the bottom of the line as much as possible if you don't want to count your macros or weigh your food or count every little calories or anything like that. Just go by eyesight and you should be perfectly fine make sure that you're not eating more than you need to be eating i've added the sauce to the fish so that your meal isn't dry as you can see the sauce ends up into a paste after it's reduced to a small consistency you are going to weigh your food make sure that you stick to 100 grams of rice okay do not go over that amount 100 grams of rice or under if you are going to count your macros As you can see, contrary to hers, right? Now mine are full. I have a full bowl of rice, which I know is two cups, probably shy of two, um, 200 grams of rice. So these are my rices, right? This is a larger um, container. So this goes all the way to the top. These will be my dinners. Um, I try to make these a little smaller just because those are gonna be mostly my lunches or post-workout or pre-workouts, but it's still a lot of rice and it's very, very heavy. Um, and as you can see, right after I do my meals, the pot of rice is completely finished, it's done. Um, also, contrary to her, I eat five to six meals a day, right? So which means, you see, as you can see, these, these are my rices, these are probably like only three meals probably gonna last me only a day or two, right? Versus her meals, which will last her six days. So that's why I make my pasta to add extra meals so that I don't finish my rice in one day or two days. So I will have these meals last me up until four days instead of hers, which are five to six days, if that makes sense, because I'm eating a lot more food. So that's why I have ground meat and I also have some tilapia that I will use as my post and pre-workouts. So I'm gonna just break it down to y'all. So now for my weight gain, whole bunch of sweet potato. You need the sweet potato, right? As you can see, this thing is full all the way to the top, like completely full, right? I got this and that, which will most likely be like a post-workout, really quick, something just to put in my mouth, because it, like, it'll go really, really fast. Same thing with this. This is why I don't have any um, potato or anything like that. Now, this will have um, grilled chicken that I will make in the morning. Okay, same thing with this. I will make it in the morning because um, I forgot to throw out the chicken. So I can't make the chicken right now until the morning time. So then I'm gonna add my sauces to each of my meals. And then I'll do the same thing I did with the previous meal and I'll just close it up and I'm ready to go. Next thing we're gonna worry about is the lunches for her, which is um, salad. So salad. Uh, cucumbers or tomatoes and um, I would grill chicken tomorrow morning and I would just um, let it cool off and then throw it on top so she has grilled chicken salad and then that's about it you can get the mixed bag you can get any bag of salad that you choose to do for yourself you guys before your lunch if you don't want to count your macros go by a size of um, the container these containers from Sea Town. It's a small little glad container I got for like for like two dollars I think or two fifty, right? And I can fit my fist in there, so that's a fist size a fist size meal 
well, my fist size, my fist is not that, you know, it's big, but still, you can fit your so fist. I just did the count, one bag fits four of these containers, which is perfect. And one bag comes with a bag of croutons and the dressing already, which even better. All right, so yeah, we're gonna chop it up and I'm gonna show you guys the final look of it before I add the chicken. So that's the boiled eggs that I have to also cut, which you guys seen me make in the beginning of the video. And just like that, salad is all done. Cucumbers, red onions. My girl likes red onions. Don't ask me why, I really don't know why. But she likes red onions, so she gets red onions. Um, half an egg, half an egg. You don't wanna put too, too much egg, because again, too much protein, too much calories. Try to keep it really small. So you see the salad is not a big salad small salad all right you have tomatoes and um yeah that's about it small salad and low calories and you're all set and then once i'm done everything goes in the fridge mine's at the top hers at the bottom her dinners her lunches she doesn't have to ask me she just goes down there picks it and then that's it all right you guys so that's about it that's the video it's over clean my stove cleaned everything, cooked everything. Um, although, like y'all already know, I didn't um, get to throw out the chicken, so I couldn't make the chicken, but exactly how I made all the other proteins, exactly how you want. You wanna do the same thing to your chicken. Chop up your chicken however you want it to be chopped up, whether in dices, whether in long slices, however you wanna cook your chicken, you will cook it that way. You will add the same sauce. You can switch it up if you want to, it's up to you, but I just try to keep it simple because again, if it's simple, it's easy to do and it's quick and I'm done. Um, so that's basically it. Your breakfast, you can also prep your breakfast. So for example, I meal prep my um, my oatmeal. I make a big pot of oatmeal, I break it down um, in those smoke, smoke, a small container that I use for the salads. I put my oatmeal in there so that when I wake up in the morning, I will pop my oatmeal out, put it in the microwave and I'm all set. And then same thing for other folks. Like if you want to lose weight, think like think small. Everything is small, but do not starve yourself. Starving yourself does not help the process because you may end up losing weight in two months, but then you'll gain it right back when you go back to your regular life. So always think a balanced diet. You have your breakfast, you have your lunch, you have your snack, you have your dinner. For people who do like to be snacky, but if you want to lose weight and you, you know, you someone who likes snacks or this is very good for people who work in an office or anything like that. Meal prepping is very, very important because you don't have time to always go out and buy food. And when you do go out and buy food, you end up buying a lot of fast food, a lot of food with a whole bunch of calories. Um, so get yourself a, another meal prep box and put like with like four quarters or three or whatever the case may be, like a container with three um, spaces. You can put cucumbers or carrots, crackers, and cheese. Something like this. It looks just like this. So on certain days, this is how I make her um, snack. Um, but yeah, teamwork makes the teamwork, I think. <laughs> or teamwork makes the dream work. Something like that. But yeah, um, that's... And it's perfect that she's trying to lose weight. Well, she already, you know... With me, when she got with me, she gained weight. So she's trying to like break it back down. So I'm training her right now, also meal prepping for her. She already lost five pounds in the last week and a half. So we keep going at it. And um, yeah, like I told you guys, this is just a meal prep um, video. My, my workout program will be dropping November 12th or 13th. I will be giving out details of that on my Instagram tomorrow morning, Friday at no, Friday at 2 or 3 p.m. So even if you don't get to get the details, you can always DM me to find out what the details are about my um, workout program and, you know, the meal, meals and everything a part of that. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Uh, if I have time, I'll make them. But yes, if you do want to see them, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you want to see, what kind of videos, what kind of prep. That way I don't do like a 20 minute video. I could do a quick video because you guys already know the basics. It's a formula. You just follow it. One, two, three. 
and you're all set. Thank you guys for watching. First name JC on, last name Ditto. JC on Ditto, and I'm back at it again with another video. I don't drink, just so it's not. This is not mine.